Hey everyone, welcome to the rebuild of the 1993 Ford Bronco plow truck. This thing is pretty beat from us using it around the farm, but now I need it for the road. Hey guys, I'm building the plow truck Bronco by killing the plow truck Bronco. That one's rotten. This one's better. Yeah, it looks funny because a uh, flat tire. This one has gotten to the point where you can see it already. There ain't nothing really left. It's just gone. And plus, transmission's starting to act up on this one. It's about time to retire for the wrecked plow truck that we used prior. She had some wiring catch fire two years ago, that's why I put Dad's old Bronco on the road. Right now I'm trying to make this tailgate window go back up because uh, since it's not latching, it has a safety that you can't roll up the window when it's not latched, otherwise yeah, there's a chance of shattering the window. So yeah, I'm working on that real quick. And my dog is going insane up at the house. I'll let you know how the progress goes. I'm already straightening this bash into a tree as well as bash into another truck because I'm actually putting tail lights in this from that truck. Not that, not that truck, that truck. That one needs a rear end. I blew the rear end out of it. It does not like to run with no oil. If only I knew there was, oil, there was no oil in it. Those aren't sponsored. My dad loves Budweiser. Power of country music. A, a slide hammer that's meant to pull uh, nails out of roofs that was left here when the people built our barn. A sledgehammer. A smaller hammer. And the idiot behind the camera. I will make this straight enough for the tailgate to latch. Man, it actually is pretty bent in. Look. So my plan is to make this truck actually nice again by taking all the good parts out of the rotten one and putting it in this. So uh, this is a little bit of the starting. I just dropped the screwdriver into the end, to the thing. But Bronco rebuild by ripping apart this one. That one is rotten out. This one is 154,000 miles. Yes, rocker panels are so made out a, of sides of an oven. However, I actually have that truck's old cab that's not rotten. It was just wrecked on the passenger side. But I got the tailgate working. The one on that one, the body's so jacked up that, in fact, I can just show you. See it actively trying to separate right here because the whole body's just leaning off that side. I might try and use this tailgate because even though it's rusty looking, if I remember correctly, this window still works. Like how that one does. That one's rotten though. And the window don't go down all the way. I don't need a window to go all the way up and down, but I prefer a window that works. I'm also going to rip off the side steps because the side steps, though they don't look bad, I can't have that when I go on the highway. This is going to be street legal again. I hope. If anything, I'm just making this better for around here. Had to straighten out the radiator support where it was wrecked. So, this was a little smashed in from the wreck a long time ago. Still not rotted out, but yet. It's in okay enough shape, I'm trying to straighten it. And my Ranger's my frame machine. Man. I do see it's gonna actually push this fender back out, which is fine, because it is actually bent out inward. As you can see by that crease right there, I need to hammer it in, which, oh, I'll take a sledgehammer to it. That might actually help to try and pop that out some more too, because I'm gonna take the 
slide hammer and the C clamp, clamp it to that radius bar right there and yank it this way. But also if I knock this bow out of the fender, push it in, it's gonna try and straighten the fender, which in turn will push out on that bottom edge. So, if, if that made any sense, <sighs> I've done similar on that truck with a sledgehammer before, so time to go with to the work. With the slide hammer and a little more persuasion, the Ranger frame machine's working good. Found on road dead. Dad got annoyed with me. I got a chalk marker and wrote America, F yeah, and he doesn't like curse words. But it's straighter. I still got a kinky dink. I gotta pull out the rear, but it's a lot better. This hood was from that truck when my when I got wrecked. So he took the good hood off the parts, the at the this, and put it on that because that was the daily. Now this is a pretty good shape. Good. I guess still gotta cut off that plow brick. And this destroyed valence trim. Because I'm actually putting a bumper on this truck. This is the bumper from said truck. Uh, I want to try and possibly two tail lights, but I'm going to have to. No, I'm not messing with the tail lights right now. i got to go slice from here. Section in this whole part of the quarter panel. Section it where it's not completely out of the way. Because over here, obvious, uh, that's destroyed. Down there is kind of beat. And <laughs> down there is the worst. But I'm gonna try and straighten most of this. Then for down there, I got a destroyed dryer. No, an old washing machine. Where I can do what I did, like the floor up here, that's part of the family use old oven. It goes up a little under here. Uh, this floor wasn't in bad shape. I just, it's solid. I put metal over rust. It's not good. I got better sitting in a, in a floor over here by my other truck. The floor is right there. I just gotta splice it in. That's from this truck. This truck with a bad transmission. Bronco Project. Rangers helping fix the Bronco Project. <sighs> Hoping to get this good. Because if I can make it good, this is going to be my four wheel drive for the winter. Because that's the main reason why I'm fixing it. I am swapping seats because. Ooh, that would have hurt. Ooh, oh, I wonder why my butt always hurts when I sit in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to rip out the bad stuff. I've always wanted to fix this truck. When I first started driving it, I'm like, this thing ain't bad. Why is it so not taken care of? Me? Well, it's getting taken care of now. We need it. Alright, it's going well. I did smash the fender with the sledgehammer to try and straighten it. And my brother exists. Oh and no. Opinion. Funny. Huh? There's okay. a rabbit over there. Cool. Opinion on redneck frame machine. Opinion. And you have it here. I threw the grill in there just to see how it would look, and stuff's looking pretty good considering this thing's been beat on. All right, so this is day two. The put the hood on. It was late, so I didn't film. Found a new way to continue to use the Ranger frame machine. I'm bouncing up and down on my tailgate, okay. and applying pressure. It's hard to film and do it. <laughs> I found it's really rotten on that side, so I'm gonna make it good enough because 
To make this truck right, I wouldn't have used this truck. Guys, the progress has been made. I'm getting ready to chop off the old plow bracket. <coughs> Since this one is a bolt-on style, that doesn't require having the bracket welded where the front bumper is supposed to bolt on. Because I want that bumper on that truck. Because this truck is done. It'll never see the road again. This hood isn't even on. It's from that truck. As you can see, why I replaced it. Actually, from this hood, it's from this truck. You can tell by how the paint's peeling identically because this truck was wrecked once. Yeah, head of fence smashed up the front. But as you can see, I did a little gap liner. It's not bad for how bent this fender is, but as you can see, that paint matches better because this hoods from this truck but I'm gonna cut that old bracket off because it's in the way of me mounting up the new grill since in the grill that was in it sitting destroyed over there never really fit with this bracket in place I didn't do much filming but I worked and was cutting off the plow bracket and made it look a lot better and currently, while I sit here in my 97 Ranger at my high school, I plan on working on it tonight, bringing it into the barn and cutting off the rest of that plow bracket, and beginning to clean out the interior. Because once I clean out the interior and pull the seats out, then I'll pull the seats out of the parts truck, pull the dashes out, and swap the dashes and swap the wiring I need to swap out. Progress, major progress. It's almost like how I rebuilt this Ranger. I had to put a motor in it. I got it for 400 bucks. This thing so far hasn't let me down too bad. It's a disappointment. It's a gutless V6 with a slipping automatic. Hopefully, that's why I wanted to fix this plow truck. Dad said that I can use it in the winter for a four wheel drive. This thing will die in the winter if I freaking try to use it. I'll let you go. I think I'm finally gonna make a YouTube video again because I haven't posted in maybe a year.